everyone this video I want to show you something nice uh, two things uh, how we can actually position uh, elements in the scene without actually in the patch editor without actually putting them uh, uh, relatively to the face without putting them underneath the face tracker so as you can see here we have three balls big one two small ones they are moving with the face with a slight delay which is the second thing I want to show you how you can do and as you can see the balls are actually positioned under the camera node they are not positioned underneath uh, the face tracker see the face tracker is here it's only the face mesh the reason I put a face mesh just so you can clearly see where the ball is located relatively to the face right and then you can see that those three balls are located here so if you just position them here they won't move I just want to show it to you quickly the balls are actually located in the 3d space like this all right so they actually are not moving the reason they are moving is because in the patch editor I actually assigned them uh, to the location and orientation of the face and I'm gonna show you how I did it right now right. Okay. so uh, I did several things there this is the patch editor and all this uh, thing happens in the patch editor as you can see there's a slight delay it's a cool effect but of course we can create something more majestic and beautiful by just replacing this with other objects and playing around with the delay location orientation and adding other things to it uh, to make the effect more interesting but because this is just for demonstration purposes i made it simple so the first thing i did was uh, dragging uh, the face tracker into the patch now when i do this i have those three uh, patches uh, and what I actually need is those two nodes 3d position and 3d rotation because the face tracker when I drag it it already exposes uh, uh, those uh, uh, the position of the of the face relative to the camera and the rotation now if you put the ball underneath the face tracker it already inherits those two properties so that's why the ball inherits the position location uh, the position and the rotation of the face but right now if I put it here they're not uh, inheriting this uh, these uh, values now uh, what I did here uh, the other thing I need to do is uh, before I make the other changes is make sure that I have the position and rotation uh, values for the ball so I can update them in order to do this if I go to for example just ball the big one uh, and go to the sidebar I can see the, the setting the properties of the ball so you can see under transformation at position and rotation now if I'm going to delete this for a second I'm going to delete this now you can see the ball is not moving you see I can tap this arrow in order to create a patch for the position for the position vector 3d position and then it accepts an input then I can update something send a value into it and it will update here now it's just the default values see it's still not moving same goes to the rotation I click this arrow and this creates a patch for the 3d rotation now accepts a value so if I update this one I send a value in this is the input node here this is input one I will update the 3d rotation value and this will update and of course the ball will have different values and you see it located and rotated in different uh, differently now when I drag it it's still not there's no there are no values coming in you see it's disconnected so what I did I'm going to explain to you the delay in a second uh, I connected new values to it in this case I connected the 3d uh, uh, the 3d position and the 3d rotation now those values come from here but in between I added a delay patch how do I do this I right click type delay see delay delays the volume by some time the number of seconds to wait 
what this means is that uh, if you pass a value to the delay the volume instead of coming out immediately in your time outside it will be delayed by some time in this case I delayed it by uh, 0 0.2 seconds instead of just if for example if it just put zero there won't be any delay you just remove the face there's no delay here as you can see if you do 0.2 it'll be a slight delay oh sorry 0 0.2 and this is just for the location right now for the position 0 0.2 of course I can increase it so it will be a longer delay see let's get 0.2 all right so the 3d position value gets into the delay patch it's delayed by 0.2 seconds and then sent outside from the output node into this uh, 3d position patch that updates the volume the 3d position value of the ball the big ball this one now I did the same thing to the rotation so both the rotation and position are delayed. Okay. Now the rotation will be more obvious, of course, um, uh, if I just change it here. You can clearly see it. See, it's also changed rotation based on face. All right. Uh, now there are two other balls here. And those uh, have, let's see, yeah, those have a slightly higher delay. And again, what I did here is the same that I did with the first ball. I created a delay of 0 0.3. Now I did uh, one other thing that I want to show you. As you can see, the balls are located not exactly in the central location of the face one of them is on the right side one of them on the left side if i wouldn't have done it if i wouldn't uh, i would show you how it would look like if it was just the central i'm going to change it to zero i'm going to explain to you in a moment you can't see them because both the big ball and the small balls are right in the center so they're actually hiding inside the big ball so we can't see them so what I needed to do is, and then I'm going to explain to you what unpack is, so you can understand how this works, and the add patch. So what I needed to do is to increase, uh, and the, in, for this right one, I need to increase the volume of the X axis. And if I increase the, the X uh, volume of the position, I'm actually moving it to the right. If I decrease the volume by some volume, uh, I'm going to move it to the left. Okay, this allows me to control the position on the X axis. So, uh, what I did at first is a delay because I'm going to delay any volume coming out from the face tracker. Then I use unpack, and the reason I want to, I wanted to use unpack. Uh, is because I wanted to change uh, the volume only the x value the position x value for those little balls so what I needed to do is get the volume and unpack what it does it creates uh, three nodes for each value that is an input you see it unpacks those three values into three different nodes so then I can actually uh, get each value separate separately. So I get now the X, Y, and Z. It just breaks down this volume into those each volume, in, so I can actually get this one separately. So I can get X, Y, and Z. So what I did here is uh, for the X for this um, right ball, this one. I get the X value and I use an add. By the way, to add unpack, you just right click, UN, get this unpack here, unpack a volume into its components. You can right click on the patch to change the type. So, I, yeah, it's also important to know that I'm using vector 3 because I have three values coming out 
from the position 3d position for x y and z so i you need to choose vector 3 not vector 2 or vector 4. Uh, so i get x value and i use add again right click add and then uh, i increase the value by 0 0.1 this is the this, this distance that you see here between the center and the current location of the this ball now i use pack what pack does is actually the opposite of unpack it takes three value and packs them into a single vector value okay so what i did is update the x value and for the other ones because i don't change them i just uh, the y and z i just send the value directly from the unpacked y and z just go directly back in the only thing i changed or wanted to change is the x so that's what i did i just added the value so i'm going to move it a bit to the right and then i did this connected to the x and so again y and z stay the same and then this value i output back to the ball 3d position that's why I have this one a bit to the side. You can see I can control it. If I increase this volume, let's increase it by two. You see, you can actually move it and reposition it different location. Four. Nice. Uh, now the same thing I do to the second ball, exactly the same. But what I did instead of increasing the value, I decrease it. You see, minus 0 0.1. Sorry. Let me just do this. Minus 0 0.1. That's why we move it because this is the zero. This is the central location, which is zero. So if I move it, move it to a negative number, it's going to be on the left side of it. We're going to positive number is going to be on the right side of it. Okay. So I can increase the number and do 0 0.2. And it's going to move further left. 0 3, further left. And just want them to, to take relatively close together. So I did 0. Sorry. 0.1. Now again, you can see a delay because of this one. Because of this this one it has a delay which we're gonna use we are using actually here but the volume the initial volume is delayed by 0 0.3 seconds and again I send it to the ball to the third ball 3d position and that's where you get this interesting effect and the cool thing about the patch editor uh, that you can see actually see uh, how the logic works and uh, you can also apply changes directly to the values if you like so you can get something that looks nice and you are uh, satisfied with all right so again there are several patches here one for the delay other one for unpacking unpacking values add which is an, an addition function which adds value to another value that the input here and that's it so we can create this cool and unique effect and i'm sure your mind probably is working right now to see how we can create something cool with this and of course there are many ways you can do this you can create something i don't know metallic and create more things more elements not just uh spheres i create something uh very interesting many ways to play with this so uh, this is it for the video uh, i just want to for you to get familiar with uh, the delay function the unpack the pack and now we can actually uh, use uh, the face uh, tracker position and rotation in order to uh, memory control uh, the location of the ball without actually putting them underneath the face tracker so a few things in this uh, tutorial uh, again it's not a complicated tutorial 
not too many elements here so you can just go over it again take a look and even try to do it yourself which is the best way actually to understand things i try to think of ways how you can use this to create uh, something really cool which is just something that moves exactly at the same time this delay create a unique presentation all right so that's it i uh, hope you enjoy this video uh, if you enjoyed please don't forget to subscribe and like this will keep you motivated to make even more videos and i know you uh, guys asking me for a lot of things so i'm going to do this uh step by step uh i'm going to teach you how you can make everything uh, that you see in my filters you can make it uh how you can make it and more <laughs> uh, of course i learn on the way more things and what i learn i also uh, share so more people can do creative things with uh, their filters and enjoy using spark ar studio uh in general uh, so that's it uh i'll see you in the next video bye everyone